Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on statements and wages. Statements are usually sent out to customers once a month from their financial institutions. In simple terms, we can see the different deposits, the different withdrawals and the balance. Deposit. This is the money that is put into the account at any given time. Withdrawal. This is the money that is taken out of the account at any given time. Balance. This is the amount that you currently have in your account. When you make deposits and withdrawals, the balance at any given time keeps changing. It is always kept up to date by your financial institution. Pay slip. This is a piece of paper you receive from your current employer. It shows the gross amount you earn in a one week or two week period. The gross amount is the amount you earn before tax is deducted. The net amount is the money you take home after tax has been deducted. The tax is collected by the government. Example of a payslip from the employer. So this example shows us a payslip for the 8th of May 2020. So normally you'll have the name of the person, in this case I've used Bob Smith. The gross wage is $360. The tax is 55. So the net wage is 360 take away 55, which is $305, and that's the amount that you take home. Now here is a statement, just a very simple example of a statement from the financial institution. Now CF means carried forward, that is, that is the amount from last month. So the statement for this month starts off with $843 that was carried forward from last month. So then on the 1st of May no, uh, 2020, a deposit of $56 was made, which means that the new balance is 899, which is 843 plus 56, so there's your 899. On the 6th of May, a withdrawal of $40 was made, so the new balance is $859, which is $899, take away $40. Here are some simple examples. A bank account has $785 in it. After a deposit of $63 is made, what is the new balance? Now, deposit means you add that money to the existing balance. So $785 plus $63 will be $848, and that's the new balance. Number two. A bank account has $869 in it. After a withdrawal of $142 is made, what is the new balance? So because it's a withdrawal, we subtract this amount from this balance. So the new balance is $869 minus $142, which is $727. What is the net wage? If a gross wage of $486 is taxed an amount of $73. So the net wage will be the gross wage minus the tax and that'll be $413 and that's the amount you take home. So this video has given us a brief introduction into some terms that are used by financial institutions and on this page we've just given some examples of what a payslip might look like, what a statement might look like, and some simple problems to do with deposit, withdrawals, and gross wage and net wage.